It is time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word, with your host, Brother Oscar York, the voice, on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting that all important snap, crackle, and pop. In your Christian Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. We hope everyone's having a good morning and wide eyed and woke. Recognizing the blessing that the Lord has given us today by waking us up. And we that are on this side of heaven, we that are on the top soil and not the soil on top of us. We want to welcome you to the program today, this being the first and the 13th, 2022. We want to welcome you to the, to the program, hoping that you. You have your ears on and ready to hear another episode from us here at Cutting from the Word. Amen, amen, and amen. All right, all right, all right, Brother Oscar. Are you ready to praise the Lord? Because that's what we do here on Cutting from the Word. We praise the Lord here, praising the Lord is what we do here on Chatting from the Word. Amen, Brother Oscar. Amen. The Lord has blessed us, as I just said, with another wonderful, wonderful benefit of another wonderful, wonderful day. Amen. Amen. It was the psalmist who said in Psalm 103, verse 1 and 2, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that's within me. Bless his holy name, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his benefits. I mean, sometimes we just take it for granted, some of us, that we're just going to wake up and just going to be here and everything is just going to be just, just fine. But my friend, look around, look around you, and once you think about people that was here maybe just a couple of days ago, that are not here anymore. People that was here last night did not wake up for the count. 
So my friend, that's something to think about. To think about and what you think about it, you recognize how blessed you are just to be alive. And the Lord woke you up this morning giving you a second chance, another chance to make it right with him. Another chance to praise, praise him. Amen. Yes, he has given all of us that's on this side of heaven another chance, another chance to make it right with him. Amen. Amen. First of all, we want to welcome all our new listeners. If this be your first time listening in, we want you to know that you are our welcome guest this morning. We want to welcome you to the program and we want to thank you for having your ears on and that you are listening to us this morning. And this morning, we just want to honor you this morning because you are our welcome guest. Yes, you are. We honor you this morning. Yes, we do. Thanking you for having your ears on. Amen and a amen. And my friend, if you love what you listen to here on Chatting from the Word, share it with your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones, those that you are friends with on Facebook, clicking in Instagram, or wherever you're on, on the internet. Share, share, share. Let them know that Brother Oscar is on Chatting from the Word in the morning at 9 a.m. And we will appreciate that very, very much if you would do. Just that. Shout it out. Shout it out. Shout it out. Amen. <laughs> and amen. My friend, do you like what we're doing here? Tell you from the word. Have we been, have we put that all important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian walk? If we have done that, could you help us out and, and give us a just a small donation to keep this fine program going? And going, we do need to pay our bills, and we need your help to do that. And if you can, if you can donate any amount to the program, we will appreciate that very, very much. And if you can, we do have a account on PayPal. Just go to the PayPal webpage, paypal.com, and put in my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York. 3443 at gmail.com, or you can go to the sale and do the same. Put in my email address, which is lowercase, Oscar York, 3443 at gmail.com. And as we just said, we would appreciate any amount you put in, any amount you put in. And if you want to sponsor the program, you're welcome to do that at a monthly basis. And whatever you support us with, that will be appreciative very much. And we want to thank you in advance for doing uh, just that. Thank you, thank you, and thank you. Amen. And a amen. Where are you, Brother Oscar? Where are you? I am here on Chatting from the Word, and I am your host, Brother Oscar York, the voice on the Spreaker platform, where we are chatting about the Word from the Word and putting the all-important snap Crackle and pop in your Christian walk. Amen and a amen. Now, my friends, we have said this many times on the air, and that is where we are broadcasting from. And my friend, we are broadcasting from that beautiful, wonderful state of Ohio. Amen, Ohio. <laughs> Ohio is in the house. Ohio. Ohio is in the house. And thank you, Ohioans, for listening to us here at Chatting from the Word. And since you are listening to us, you all that are listening, tell others about us, tell other Ohioans, and Brother Oscar's on in the house on Chatty from the Word. Tell them that we are on praising and praising the Lord this morning. 
Michigan, Michigan, and uh, who else? Texas and Oklahoma. We want to thank you for listening in as well. Keep your ears on. Keep your ears on. Keep on listening to us and keep on shouting the news about the good news of Jesus Christ. Then heard on chatting from the word. Amen, amen, and a amen. And now, my friends, now, my friends, it is that time for us to take our snapshot of the program today. Yes, it is. It is that, that time for us to take our snapshot. Now you heard the introductory song. The introductory song was God, Grace, and Mercy, sung by Wayne Williams. And in a few, it will be our prayer time. It will be our prayer time. And of course, Radiance Acapella will be singing Sweet Hour of Prayer. And our scripture text for our prayer time will be James 5. 13 through 16, and if you want to read along with us during our prayer time, you are welcome to do uh, just that. Amen. And the song that we have selected to play for your uplifting and inspiration this morning would be a cappella, Abba Father, Abba Father. It's just a good thing to call on the Father, especially during these times, during this pandemic. Some of us, a lot of us who can get a prayer cross need to call on the Lord and say, Father, when all this going to be over with during this pandemic and this, uh, I want to say, contagious times, especially when it comes to the Omicron and, and all of that. So we want to pray. We got to pray for the nation today. We need prayers. This nation needs to be prayed for especially during this time of uh, this pandemic. Amen and amen. And our chat, our chat, of course, we are talking about the church, the called out, the church, the called out. Now, we are coming from 1 Corinthians 5, and, and we're going to try to finish up today, and we're going to start with verse 8 through 13. Verse 8 through 13 in the court. We're talking about a soap opera. <laughs> a soap opera. I know most of you say, Brother Oscar, why that title? Because this is what's going on in, in First Corinthians, First Corinthians 5th chapter. That's a soap opera there. And we're going to discuss that uh, in our chat today. So we hope that you keep your ears on long enough to hear the chat for today. And my friend, that was your snapshot for the program today. Amen and a amen. My friend, my friend, are you ready for this ride? Are you ready for this ride? And I hear the whistle blowing too, too. Here comes into the station. And Jesus Christ, our Lord, is our conductor. Are you ready to allow Jesus to be your conductor and drive you this morning while you're listening to chatting from the Word? Are you ready to get on board this train? Get on board. Line up. Get ready, my friends, and get on board. Get on board. All oh, get on board. All oh, you all that's lined up. It is time to get on board, get on board, toot toot, get on board. Yeah. 
And of course, th this is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you desire for the Oscar to pray for here, or I'm chatting from the Word, just send it to my email addresses, which is all case, OscarYork3443 at gmail.com, or all case, chatting from the Word at gmail.com, or you can put it on any page that you're listening to the program through. And we should be able to get your prayer request. Now, if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, that is fine with us here at Chatting from the Word. We do respect your confidentiality here. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name that we'd be so delighted 
to do just that. Again, if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can use those avenues to get your prayer request to us. Amen and amen. And always keep in your prayers those that we've been requesting prayer for for quite some time. Those that lost loved ones, those that are going through some difficult time at this time, and those that are trying to make a difference when it comes to the Word of God in this world to tell others about Jesus Christ. And of course, keep your brother here, Brother Oscar, in your prayers as well. Pray for me as I pray for you. Amen. And amen. Our scripture text for our prayer time will be James 5, 13 through 16. Be James 5, 13 through 16. And the brother of Jesus Christ, the apostle James, brother James, penned these words. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing songs. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise, shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another. Pray one for another that you may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Amen. Man, the prayer of the righteous. The prayer of the righteous. We need to pray the righteous this morning. Don't we? Going through this pandemic, we, we need the prayer of the righteous. And we want to pray for that this morning. Of the pandemic that we are going through this morning. Are you ready to approach the throne of grace with me this morning? Stand before the Father in humble admission to talk with Him. Are you ready? Let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy precious, precious name. Father, we come to you first of all in thanksgiving, Father. Thank you, Father, for all the blessings you have bestowed upon us so far this morning. Father, we want to thank you for watching over us on last evening as we slept and slumbered. Father, we just want to thank you for waking us up to see Another beautiful and wonderful day. A day that on yesterday, on yesterday was not even promised to us. So, Father, we want to thank you so much, so much for that. And, Father, we want to thank you for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, to come down on this cruel world to show us how to love, to show us how to live. And to become sin on the cross, take on the cross, becoming sin, someone who did not know sin, but became sin. So our sins may be washed away, Father. We thank you so much for that sacrifice. Oh, Father, we come praying for the condition of the world, Father. Especially during this pandemic time, Father, we pray that you help the world at this time to overcome what we are facing at this time, this pandemic. And Father, we just pray, we just pray, Father, that you allow those who need to see the message in the storm, to see the message of hope through the storm, to see the message of love, through the storm, see the message of salvation, through the storm, so they may come crying. What must I do to get close with the Father again? What must I do for salvation? What must I do to be a part of God's kingdom, Christ's kingdom? Oh, Father, we come praying for those who have contracted 
this coronavirus. Father, we pray that you will be with them, heal their bodies, touch their bodies. Father, allow them to rise from their bed of sickness so they may praise you forever and ever. Oh, Father, we come praying for those that lost loved ones, those that are in mourning at this time. Father, we pray that you comfort them and allow them to know all would be well, especially if they loved ones was in Jesus Christ. And Father, we come praying for those who are losing loved ones in the hands of the police. Father, we pray that you comfort them as well. And Father, be with police officers who felt as though that they needed to take a life of it. We just pray that you be with those officers, mind, body, and soul. And Father, we come praying for our political leaders at this time. Though divided, Father, we pray that they never make laws forbidding us from what we need, but make laws so we all can live in peace and in harmony. Oh, Father, we come praying for the church again. Father, we pray, Father, that you help us be a beacon of light, leading others to the shore of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we come praying for all of our listeners at this time. Father, we pray that you be with each and every one of them, regardless of what they may be going through, regardless of what they may be facing. Help them to face it head on. Help them to have faith and trust in you that all will be well. And Father, we come praying for our program at this time, Chatting from the Word. Father, help us to keep on chatting about your Word. Father, help us to Keep that snap, crackle, and pop in the Christian walk. Help us, Father, to share Christ to the world that we know, that we need to know Jesus Christ. Just keep us, help us to keep this program on the air. And Father, we come praying for those that we all way be praying for, those that lost loved ones, those that are going through some difficult times, and those that are trying to make a difference in the world when it comes. To the gospel of Jesus Christ. And of course, Father, as always, keep us encouraged and not discouraged. Help us to keep on going on and on with this program. In Jesus' blessed name, do we pray. Amen and amen. I want to thank you for reading our scripture text along with us, for praying along with us. And as always, we hope that we pray for something. That is on your mind. All right. We'll be right back with the sucker pad after these messages. Amen. 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 Welcome back. Welcome back. This is our second half. We hope that you still have your ears on. And we hope that you are still listening to us here at Cutting from the Word. At least we hope that you are. And we hope that you're enjoying the show so far to this point. Now, you know how we begin our second half off. We begin by asking for donation. If you can help us out on a financial basis, that would be a beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, we do have a account on PayPal. Just go to PayPal, wellpaid, paypal.com, and put in my email address, which is lowercase, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com, or you can go to jail and do the same. Put in my email address, which is lowercase, oscaryork3443 at gmail.com. If you want to help us keep this fine program going and going, we hope that you can. And if you want to sponsor us on a financial basis, that would be a beautiful thing. And you can finance us at any amount you desire to do that. And do it today. Do it today. We want to thank you in advance for helping us out here at Chatting from the Word. Amen. Amen. My friend, do you like us? Do you really like us? Brother Oscar, hope that you do like us. Well, on the Spreaker platform, we are coming live at this time on our Spreaker platform. And if you're listening to us through our Spreaker platform, it's a place where you can put your like. But if you love us, if you truly love us, be our next follower on our Spreaker platform. And we're also coming live on YouTube. 
We are live on YouTube at this time, and if you listen to us through our YouTube station, and if you like us, give us a thumbs up to let us know that you like us. But if you love us, be our next subscriber on our YouTube station, and hit the bell so they may notify you each time when we are bringing a program on. And we also are tweeting, tweeting on Twitter. If you listen to us on Twitter, Tell us how you like us on Twitter. And we're also tumbling, tumbling on Tumblr. And if you love us on Tumblr, let us know that as well. Amen, amen. Now, our Facebook page live. We're not coming on live on Facebook at this time, but we do share it on Facebook. But do not let that be the reason why you're not listening to us because we are on majority of your networks, internet networks. We're on Audrey's Music Download, VFC, Lady, Joyce of Rand, Chrome Web View, Bullhorn, Alexa Media, Player, PaulPlayer.net, Chrome, iTunes, ListenNote.com, Podchaser, Deezer, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Tumblr, Blogger, Internet Explorer, Generic, Android, AppBeam.com, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Cast my podcast, Addicts Freak, or Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, address, Instagram, and YouTube. And if you desire that right link, visit your Google Play or App Store and download Freaker Podcast app. And once you have it downloaded, look us up chatting from the word. And once you find us, put us in your favorite so that when we are broadcasting, when we are on, you would not miss that one. Yep, so do it today so on tomorrow you be ready to hear the program from us here on Chatting from the Word. Amen and Amen. Where am I you all? Where am I? I am here on Chatting from the Word and I am your host, Brother Oscar York, the voice on the Spree Kirk platform where we are chatting about the word from the word and putting that all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian world. Amen, 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 amen. <laughs> you can tell Brother Oscar, he's he, he finding a little joy at this time. So, because we are on the air and we're chatting with you about the Word of God. But before we chat with you about the message today, we have a beautiful song that we want you to hear. We play it all the time. We love this group here. A cappella. We love our cappella. And they sing at the Father. And we need to hear this today because we need to cry. We need to cry out to the Father when we are going through something. And today we are going through something. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Cry out to Him. I say, cry out to Him. And here they are. A cappella. Abba, Abba, Father.
awesome God. Now when he rolled up his sleeves, he wasn't putting on the ritz. Amen and amen. That was Acapella, Abba Father. Take us higher, Father. Just take us higher. And at the end, you know how to end up with praise and harmony? That's a beautiful thing when we brothers and sisters can work together for the name of Christ. And the name Christ and tell the world about him. That's what we all about here at, at Chatting from the Word is to chat about God's word and tell the world about Jesus Christ. The message, the hope, salvation is in Christ Jesus. Thank you, Acapella, and praise and harmony. We really enjoyed that combination. Thank you and thank you. All right, we'll be right back with the chat after these messages. All right, all right. Brother Oscar's back. <laughs> and take a little breather there. <laughs> Brother Oscar's back. I'm laughing because I just find it joy. I really do. I really enjoy it. Uh, bringing you this program Monday through Fridays and bringing you a, a little message, a small message to help you during the week until we come together in our general, uh, in our general, uh, you know, together on our first ever week in our general assembly. That's what Brother Oscar saying. And we hope that we, we, we have done that here on Chatting from the Word, keeping you going with a message until Sunday or Wednesday night to keep you uh, in the message, in God's word, to keep you having that snap, cracker, and pop in your Christian walk, keeping you showing your life to the world that you have Jesus Christ, and they can ask you why you so different, why you, uh, their light is shining, why you don't do the things that we do do what that the world do. And that's what we're trying to say here. Make a difference. We, we need to make a difference in the world today, my friend. Especially the way the world is going today. And during this pandemic, and, 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 and you might be saying, well, Brother Austin, you're talking about the pandemic so much. And I think it's worth talking about it because most of us, we're not getting the message. Every time the law allow a stone to be, it's a message. And that's why I say allow it. You know, a lot of us think it's God's fault. It's not God's fault. The God may allow it to happen. But the reason why he allowed a lot of things to happen is to give us down here a message to turn to him. But a lot of us, we don't want to turn to him. We want to do what we want to do and then want to claim that we love the Lord. My friend, you can't love the Lord and do what you want to do. You got to be in Jesus Christ if you want salvation. I believe this is why this pandemic is going on. This will give us all a message of hope, love, and salvation. But this is our chat time. This is our chat time. And you know what we believe here on our chat time. We just don't teach. We just don't preach. But what we do here, we chat about God's word. We don't want to talk under you or over you. But we want to talk and chat with you about the word of God. Because Oscar, Brother Oscar believes that is one of the best ways that we can get Jesus Christ and his hope and salvation and point of salvation to you that are in the world and to you that's in the church. Brother Oscar, the one to talk over you or under you, I want to talk with you. And that's why I keep saying, if I have said something that you disagree with, let me know. Email me, say, Brother Oscar, you said that wrong. You didn't say it right. But at the same time, a book, chapter, and verse 
of God's word, not, not what you think of, or what you think it may say, but of God's word itself. Not what Papa or Mama or grandparents have told you, but what's in the word of God itself. Not what a minister that you love so dearly have told you, but what's in the word of God itself. Because we here at Chapter for the Word, we, Brother Oscar is trying his best to teach from the word of God. And I hope you appreciate that. I hope you appreciate it because... I'm trying my best here, my friend, to uphold the cross and to teach others Christ's way. And I hope you appreciate my efforts and what we do here on chatting from the Word. Now for the our chat, of course, we've been talking about the church. They called out because this is who Paul is talking to here. And the two letters he wrote to the Corinthian church, he's talking to them and tried to let them know what we as Christians is all about, what Christians is all about, what Christ is all about. And we're studying from the fifth chapter of this first letter that Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthian church, and he knows the problems this particular problem that they was having in the beginning of this uh, chapter 5, he talked about falling keys, how young men are having sex with his father's wife. But basically what he's doing is he's talking to the church, isn't he? He, although uh, Paul's policy, which he should do, told them what they should do about the situation, but he's talking to the church. He's telling the church how we should not allow Rather than be in the church. On, on the last time we talked about this, we talked about the Passover, didn't we? And we went back to Exodus 12 about the, uh, the first Passover and about the uh, uh, plague that came to Egypt by the firstborn dying. And, and God told Moses and Aaron to tell Israel to put the blood on each side of the, the post of their door. And one on top, which is the cross, represents is the cross. And to prepare a a blank, a, a spotless, blemishless lamb for the feast. And we know today who that is. We know it's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ became that sacrificial lamb. He shed his blood so that we may have salvation. And we take up a meal on our first day when we come together on the first day of the week. And that is in the Lord's Supper when we take up the bread and the fruit of the vine. That us giving that sacrifice in us. And the fact, the fact that we're getting him in us, we become part of that sacrifice. We're sacrificing our life as a living sacrifice to tell others about Jesus Christ to share up to others the, 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 the message of hope, love, and salvation. And this is what it's all about, my friends, is sharing the message of Christ Jesus. And here, this is what Paul was trying to convey to the Christian church here. He said, we should not let leaven be a point of the program. Because you know what leaven is, right? Leaven, we put leaven when we're baking bread to make the bread rise and rise and rise. And what Paul is saying here, if you allow this leaven to be in the church, problems going to arise and rise and rise. And we got to hit these problems head on before they get out of control in the body of Christ. And that's why I said this message is good for us today. Because many of us, even in the church today, allow leaven to be in the church and we allow it to rise. And once it's rise, what happens? Either the church going to close its doors, change its name, change what they believe, and most of them that's a part of that, they do it so long, they believe it's the truth. 
And when you try and tell them the truth, they try, they'll tell you, oh, brother, you don't know what you're talking about. And then you can even show them in the Bible. And then they try to explain it away to why they believe what they believe. Oh, my friend, little 11, do mess up the truth if you allow it to be a part of the body of Christ. But here in verse 8 of chapter 5, Paul says, Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the leaven, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Paul says, Let us not keep malice. Malice is a is a wanting or desiring. Sin, a desiring something that we once was. And Paul said, let that malice not to be a part of us. Let not wickedness be a part of us, but be unleavened bread of sincerity and in truth. And here in, the, in verse 9, Paul is getting ready to tell you why he is saying not allow malice and wickedness to be a part of us. Paul said, I wrote it to you in an epistle, not to come in with fornicators, yet not altogether with fornicators, with fornicators, but yet not altogether with fornicators of this world or with cultures or extortioners or idolaters, but then must ye needs go out to the world. But now I have written unto you not to keep company if any man is a call himself a brother, be a fornicator, or a covetous, or a idolater, or a railer, or a drunkard, or extortioner. And most of you might be wondering why is Paul is so vividly is telling the Christian the Corinthian Christian this not to be a part of that, not to eat much, talk to them, not to have a uh, it's not to socialize with them. The reason why he's telling them that because that's who they were. That's who they were. They were fornicators. They were idolaters. They were covetous. And they lived in that. You know what I'm saying? Before they became Christians, they lived in that. And some still probably dabbled in a little bit of it, but it was a Reportedly, commonly reported as the other thing was. But here Paul said, do not associate with others that are like that. For example, just like a person. And this is one of the so far first I watched the other day where one of the character, uh, she uh, got, got a bottle uh, of alcohol and, and started drinking and she, Call herself relapsing, relapsing, and she relapsed and being an alcoholic again. Paul recognized that when we deal with what we used to be and deal with people like that and strongly into that, it is a possibility that we can relapse and go back to what we used to be. Talking to the Corinthian church, and we can do that today. We can do that today. We. We can allow things like that to come into the body of Christ and we can relapse and be our old self again. If you that fornicator, you that person that's a fornicator and you were practicing on a daily basis and you just lost in it and you mess with somebody that believe in it, eventually you will go back to it. If you that that person that love to drink alcohol and you get drunk, and you mess with somebody that loves to get drunk, Paul said you're going to go back to it if you deal with somebody that still believes in that. Paul said if you're not a type person that believes in idolaters, if you're an idolater, and idolater is just making, putting other things before God, and you mess with somebody like that, and you believe in that, you're going to become just like that person, and sometimes it's hard to get out of that. Out of that, Idolatry, isn't it? Because most of us today, we, we put lots of things before God. A lot of us don't believe we are. But when we put our homes, our cars, our jobs, our monies, whatever before God, 
that become our idol, my friend. We become an idolater. A lot of us don't believe we are. And this is why Paul is saying what he's saying. Don't mess with them. Don't make it even a brother call himself a brother, be a fornicator. Don't mess with them because pretty soon you're going to be grabbing hold to that thinking that's right to do. And this is a problem that they was having with the young man having his father's wife. We don't know it was incest, but we know that it was wrong. And Paul said, get him out of there. Get him out of there because that little leather will leaven the whole lot. We'll leaven the whole lot. And we're going to stay that it will affect everybody else. It will affect everybody else because y'all was once that. You was once the fornicator. You was once this and you allow that to happen. You are going to return back to what you used to be also. And this one was going on because they was puffed up, Paul said, about this thing. And this is the reason why Paul is saying what he's saying here. Do not allow these people. Do not even much associate with them because there's a possibility that you can fall off the wagon again. And then verse uh, 11 Paul said, but now I have written it to you not to keep company. If you that is called a brother, be a fornicator, extortion, such a one, do not eat. In other words, do not associate with them because if you do, you will return back to that old person you once was. And then verse 12 said, Paul said, for what have I to do to judge them also that are without? Do not ye judge them that are within Talking about in within the church, we judge. We know we judge them within, but let those thou without God would judge. Paul says in verse thirteen. Paul said, "But them that are without God will judge. That will put away from yourselves that wicked person." And Paul said, it, "It's just a good deal thing to put away that wicked person." But what we can do. If you find someone in the body of Christ that's going wrong, approach them. Talk to them. Let them know that the way they are living is not according to Scripture. Show them in Scripture where they're wrong. And then when, if they don't want to turn, and that's my advice, and then if they don't want to turn, let them know can associate with them more. Because that's my weakness too, brother. I, so say with you, and I had that weakness before I came to Christ, I will fall right back in that weakness with you. And I cannot associate with you anymore, especially after I told you the truth, and you won't turn. And I believe this is what Apostle Paul is trying to convey to us here today, that we need to keep in there for the Lord and stay away from things that's going to make us fall back into the old person we used to be. And that is the message here. And in, the, in chapter 6, you're going to see why that message was important. That Apostle Paul let them know, they are 11, 11, they hold up. And of course, a soap opera. Don't live in the soap opera. <laughs> So you can watch them on TV, but come back to reality. <laughs> That's just TV. <laughs> okay, don't live in the soap opera of fornication and lies and being drunk and extortion and, and all that. Don't do that. That, 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 that would get, keep you away from the Lord. And that's the message for today. We hope that we said enough to cause you to think about what you're doing and how you're living uh, for the Lord. Amen, amen. We'll be right back with the closing after these messages. Oh. 
All right, all right, all right. We're back. We're back. Yes, we are. This is time we're getting ready to close out and get on out of here. And Brother Oscar, hope he said enough today in our chat to make you think about your soul salvation and to stay in the body of Christ, which is very, very important. But we must get on out of here. Our time has been over spent. And Brother Oscar, I want to thank all of you that listen to us live. We appreciate you. We really do. And you all who did not listen to us live, you can catch our program on all the networks we called out in mid-program. You can catch our program there anytime you desire to listen to it. And some I will share with. And those of you that I share it with, share it with others. I right? will appreciate that you do that. Amen. Amen. We pray with me, please. Our Father, which art in heaven, now be thy most precious and holy name. For we thank you for this time that we had together to bring this program to all of our listeners. Father, we pray for all of our listeners. We pray that you be with them, help them to this day, help them to walk with that snap. Crackle and talk, and they walk on Christ to the world. Father, we pray that you be with them, help them have a glorious and prosperous day. In Jesus' blessed name, do we pray. Amen and amen. And as always, love somebody, love everybody. Bye bye, and may God bless.